Today I'm at White House Machine Tools. I'm going to talk to you about uh, an automation solution which has just been launched. And in fact, we did see it at Emo, but it's now here in Kenilworth at their uh, showroom where you can come and view it in action as well. And um, before we do that, we're going to talk about the machine that it's actually uh, interfaced to. Now, this is the Brother Speedio M200 X3. I've looked at these machines before and I can't help keep coming back to them. And the reason I do is because it's so important to try and get the message across about how flexible these machines can be and how by thinking about how you make parts slightly differently, this could be a really good solution for you like it is for so many that have invested in this technology in recent years. So what is it? Well, the M200 is a, a very high performance, high speed, five axis machine with turning capability. Now, what does that mean for you as a user? Well, it means uh, not only can you make those parts very quickly if they're maybe prismatic components and you want to reduce cycle times by up to 30% I'm told immediately if you take um, ISI co ISO code from another say BT40 machine you can see that reduction straight away thanks to the speed acceleration deceleration the processing time of the control but further to that you can also turn and this is a perfect example of the type of part that's being made on this machine. Now you can see how many components would be my question to you. How many parts have you got in your machine shop where you're having to turn them and then take them off the turning center and put them onto maybe a BT40 machine in center. So you've there uh, in itself got two machines. You've got an operator that has to take it off from one machine to another. If you think differently about how you make those parts, you'll not, not only reduce um, the cycle time of the component, you'll also uh, reduce the floor space. You'll also mean that you uh, need less operator intervention. But probably more importantly to that and very pertinent to today's market is you'll reduce power consumption by using a machine like this. Now the Brother Speedio uh, machines have some um, patented technology which basically regenerates energy and it does it in a similar method to a Formula One car. The fact that the spindles here, they accelerate from 0 to 16,000 RPM in something like 0.2 seconds. When they decelerate, all of that power is going back into um, being regenerated. So it means that your power consumption costs can be reduced, I'm told, by up to 80%. So that means you're making parts more efficiently. And if parts like this that need turning and milling are being done on more than one machine, then this Speedio M200 X3 could be an option for you. Now that's just the machine. What about uh, more uh, importantly, keeping that spindle running? They have a unique automation system here, which is, this is just 300 millimeters, would you believe? This robot here uh, in such a compact footprint next to the actual machine itself can be uh, loading the machine and it loads and feeds it from this system here. Now this is a BV7870 loading system. It's got 10 pallets in here and you can see it's stacked with billets. Now these billets uh, can then run through the night, the machine can run unmanned over the weekend and it would essentially mean that the spindle is turning um, continuously which is so important in today's market but it'd be doing it that, that reduced power consumption as well, which is even more important. The overall footprint of the machine, it's not just the automation that's compact, but look at the size of the machine as well. If you're thinking about multitasking machining, you're normally thinking about machines that would maybe be, I don't know, five, six meters in length, two or three meters in depth, and then the height to go with it. This sort of machine can achieve the same results when it comes to manufacturing as some of the machines like that. So you can change the way that you think about how the part can be made. And that's so, so important. It doesn't mean because you used to do it like this, you still have to. White House Machine Tools have been hugely successful with this machine. There have been applications where companies have been making parts on subspindle Y-axis lathes that they can actually transfer those components and because of the reduced non-cut time, reduce cycle times by using technology like this. Now, um, if you talk to White House Machine Tools, they can obviously supply these machines out of the box like you see here, but also provide you with a turnkey uh, project, which can not only prove to you or show you that you can reduce those cycle times, they can actually implement it as well for you. Um, this is a solution to me, really is something for the future.